fry for an old guy. How's it feeling? Fantastic. I think I'm a fan of the 21st century. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. We make a mean prosthetic, but uh, fascism is back. You mean the thing I helped wipe out 10 years ago? Yeah. The past won't leave us alone. Hydra did the same thing to her. They cut her up. They took her power. In my past and in her future, she can heal herself. Live a long time. Maybe now is your chance to experience what she was like before that. You should talk to her. That's no, true. I shouldn't. I she, mean, your dad said that she was very Why different. Not? Because of the timeline. The timeline is screwed. Pardon my French. You got a rare opportunity here. I got a list of people long gone by now. I'd, I'd do anything to have. I mean, last your dad did say that she was very different before. Regardless of what it'll space happen. time has to say about it. I'll be your chaperone. How about that? You need me to bail you out? I'll be right there. You really are square, aren't you? Harsh, but yes. If they caught Gordon, who knows what we're walking into? Just stand True. by for my signal. As soon as I find Coulson, I'll call for you. This isn't anarchy, this is evil. Justice isn't always pretty, Agent Coulson. Speaking of pretty, I get to keep the old baby blues, right? Good question. You know, I'm not really sure. What? Whoa, no, 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 no. Time out, man. That is not what I signed up for. I feel so hot. Uh, unplug me, man. I changed my mind. <laughs> You see? Everything worked out, huh? I disappeared, reappeared. There should be a word for that. You teleported. I like that. Yeah, thanks, Phil. All right, you think with enough practice, you could take me with you? We have our target out there. Let's go find her. Clear for takeoff, bud. Kind of sad that he gets to keep his eyes when Gordon doesn't. That's sad. I knew this was a mistake. I never should have agreed to this plan. You can trust us trust you. I don't know anything about you. We just want to help. Afterlife is important to us, too. You don't know the first thing about it. She's been there. Before your friends showed up, we'd never had an outsider find us. <sighs> She's no outsider. Go on. Show her. Vibrations. Where did you learn that? From you. That afterlife, in 30 years. We're from the future, and I know how that sounds, but it's, it's the truth. I had a feeling I, I knew you. There's something so familiar. Your gift, it's a lot like Nathaniel took that from you. It almost killed me. It's knowledge of the future that led him to us. That he used to warp Cora's mind and turn her against me. Are you close with her? Inseparable. She clung to my leg for the first three years. Shy, sweet girl. What changed? Terrogenesis. Cora lost control. There were accidents. The more I tried to help, the more she pulled away. That must be hard. Being so close to someone and and not being able to reach them. Cora has a, a good heart. She has she's killed someone. She's worth saving. And she's lucky to have you. My power has allowed me to live a long life. I used to think it was my greatest gift, but I was wrong. It was her. Growing up, I... I never knew my mom. And when I finally found her she wasn't who i'd hoped she would be she hurt you i can't speak to your mother's reasons but for me sometimes trying to do the right thing comes out all wrong i like that we're here nailed it <laughs> more like third time's a charm You've had yourself a day. I feel like he's a bit too immature. Here. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I guess he's probably young, so he would be immature, fun. but I don't know if it's the same John Garrick as I remember. Hang in there. We're leaving. The door. Don't let me worry about that. This room was built to hold powerful inhumans. Yeah? He's not an And inhuman. I'm about to bust us out of here. Watch. It's going to be super satisfying. You can't get us out. No, maybe I can. <laughs> Save your energy, you're too weak. The other Inhumans, 
I can't let this happen to them. Gordon, wait. You're hilarious. Who the hell are you? Melinda May. Blast from the future. It's your old buddy, John Garrett. Same rugged good looks, just maybe a little less rugged. I don't like that these people could just control their powers like nobody's issue. Like, I know where I'm going. It took a while for like Daisy to learn to control her quick powers Close kind of thing. Teleporting. What are you doing here? Planning a little road trip. Looking for an open-minded gal to tag along. Thought you'd never ask. Oh, sorry, babe. You ain't who I'm... All right. Bye. That's cheating. That's what I would do, though. <laughs> The humans are being held in a room down that way. So, what, Better Max not the one that kills Gordon now? Still not used to that. May radio. Hey, dummy! Let's do your thing. It's okay. They're safe. For the record, I'm digging the upgrade. Let's get you out of here. The two of us in here, you want to bring the whole of River's End down on our heads? Give me a reason. Where's Cora? What have you done with her? She sends her best. And don't you look at me like that. You still have Daisy. Is it one daughter enough? <laughs> oh, you, you didn't know. Wow, it's like a season finale of Dallas around here. I wanted to tell you, but I guess you said about your mother. You were talking about me. It's... It's okay. I hurt you. But I would never... It's actually a riveting story. See, Hydra just cuts you all to bits. You're left for dead, your power's stolen. That part, you both have in common now. Daisy grows up alone, finds you eventually, but by then you're all militant and she's with S.H.I.E.L.D. Stop it. You're on opposite sides. So you start to drain the life out of her. Enough. And it's working. You're about to kill her. But guess who steps in to crush your spine, dear old... No! Definitely room for improvement. Uh, what are you talking about? This is literally Quake. Do you know this is the destroyer of worlds, bitch? If you haven't done the math, I've had these powers a lot longer than you have. Leave my daughter alone. Stay back. Mom, no! Uh, oh, would that even kill her? No. And you won't live at all. Tell me this is Daisy. Oh, dude, I got chills! I don't, like, wow. Dude. No, that's not how, no. I don't like this. But at least she tried to save her rather than kill her this time. I mean, there's that. Man. He's not here for dude, time. I had chills, yes. man. <laughs> They're after Simmons. Please shoot him. They want to find Fitz. The rest of your gang is gone. They abandoned you. I wanted to come with you, meet my sister. Now Sybil told me all about it. Nathaniel killed John Ying. As if that would work though! I thought that like she's immortal! I don't understand. I guess technically- <laughs> You know what? I'm stupid. She dies in our timeline. So she can't get killed. I'm an idiot. I'm just annoyed that she's died. <laughs> oh, but you know, I like that she like died protecting her daughter rather than trying to kill her this time. It really shows the difference in her character between there and like the the points in time, yeah. But what does that mean for Daisy? The timeline is like all fucked up, man. Big Shaw, answer your radio. 
May, where are we going? We're not going anywhere. You are. The Zephyr's been hijacked. You're gonna have to save Simmons. Why am I here? What do you want? My pal Sybil ran the numbers. And every outcome where we don't come out on top has one thing in common. Fitz. He's gotten in our way long enough. And now you're gonna take us to him. Alrighty-o. Uh, well, that was Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I actually really liked that episode. Um, I like. I really, really liked the... I just wish we got a little bit more with Daisy and her mom, honestly. I, I'm agreed, Hog, and I really, really just wanted more. I think it's really sweet that she, like, got to have, you know, a little bit of time with her. Um, I'm just kind of sad that she died, but, like... She died in a way that's positive to her character. And then we've got Nathaniel, like, who, like, is... Oh, I've had my powers longer than you. I don't care if you've had your powers longer than her. Her powers are genetically in her. She is um, the destroyer of worlds. And she's also had that serum stuff as well, which would have altered her DNA, correct? So, like, she is way stronger than you. How the hell dare you? Like, you don't even compare. Alright? Um. I do find him very hard to take seriously a little bit. Because, um, I just feel like he's very, um. Typical black leather bad boy like I just I don't think I don't know I don't find the actor intimidating I don't think um he just seems like a a, a guy that's like I don't want to do anything mom like you can't tell me what to do mom I don't know he just seems like that I don't know and then you've got like we had John Garrett in this episode which I mean is kind of sad if you think about it because like the actor died um I think when season two was it was coming out or something. Um, so that's really sad. Um, but it's cool that they've got like that little bit of continuity. And I, I think the actor did a pretty good job in like the way he spoke. But I think that he was a little bit um, overexcited about a lot of stuff. Uh, which I guess makes sense. Uh, but I feel like that's just not the John Garrett that we, we had. Um, I don't know. Um, so now Mac isn't the guy who kills Gordon. Um, yeah, uh, we've only got three more episodes after this one left, and I'm really curious how we're going to be ending off the series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.